play is about bar work. It's just inspired by our own anecdotes working in hospitality from bougie restaurants to nightmare gentlemen's clubs, strip clubs. Um, so. Yeah. And it's just our stories interweaved with serving drinks and uh, then lots of laughter and a bit of serious tones, just really just real life bar experience being gifted to the audience. I think to make anyone who hasn't worked in a bar before think about how they interact with bartenders and then hopefully for kind of catharsis for people who have had the trauma of working in a bar. Really, it was just down to needing a space with a bar and um, just a sort of knowing the art collective that runs within Antwerp. We were students at um, Uni of Manchester when this was still a club venue, so we've had experiences here of it being um, bustling and like it did get very rowdy. <laughs> so it seemed apt. It's yeah. got a lot of a lot of memories between these four walls. Um, well, the toilet, going to the toilet was always an experience. No toilet door no on door. a cubicle. But then who needs a door? It yeah. makes you think. Just yeah. stand in front of it with your friends, just like trying to make sure that they can go for a, yeah. a, to go a to real the toilet bohemian really, in private. Night. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like whited over all the like. I think I was like, sick outside on once, probably. Yeah. Yeah. There was a person. Oh, there was a bouncy castle one was time there? over there. Was there? Yeah, it's a good night. Hmm. I had my first kiss with my current boyfriend here. Hmm. But you can edit that out because that's really, really moist that I said that. We performed it here back in November, um, but we're doing a longer run this time. And we did, like, every rehearsal pretty much was, was here. That's when we had the bar over there as well. So it's reshaping. Um, yeah. It's working with a bit of a different space. And yeah, but it helps to... to to know your way round this, especially when yeah. there's it's so <laughs> grimy and dirty as it is. But it's all part of its charm. Yeah. Quirky bric-a-brac. Two drinks and, and a shot. shot. Yes, one shot to loosen you up first, I think. Then yeah, a drink people, alongside. Because it is an intimate. It will be an intimate setting. I think it helps to feel a little bit loose. Although there's something something soft for the little guys. Uh, <laughs> Maybe some juice, yeah. Yes. Yeah. It might be because it's something like a club venue. I think with like club venues, theatres or anything, there's so much energy in the space when, ev when everybody, when it's populated with all these bodies and then they all go, what happens to the energy that's left behind, right? Where does it all go? Yeah, obviously, <laughs> that's, that's what the spirits latch on to, yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> I think as soon as you say you're a skeptic, that's... I would never say I'm a ghost skeptic because then I feel like the ghosts are going to prove me wrong. Yes, yeah, we've done a lot of stuff with uni. Um, me not so much. No, a, you've, yeah, done, I've dabbled, you've done I've bits. Dabbled, but yeah. Callum's more behind the camera yes, a lot more of doing time. like film work and stuff, but I've uh, got under the wing of Libby here to do something more physical. It's been really fun as an actor though to be able to just tell your own stories and essentially play, yeah, like a heightened version yeah. of yourself. Sounds very, very narcissistic, mm. but I think it's just icebreakers to a degree. Icebreakers that you'd used at uni, a lot of them, I think, for yeah. me anyway. So it was just like, how do I, how did I tell them? And then redoing that yeah. in this form for an audience, so. Yeah, and works. I didn't think, we didn't think we were gonna be able to make anything out of these like random events that happen to you in hospitality. Yeah. You meet some quirky people, so yeah. it's nice to immortalise Quir Quirky them. is uh, the word, yeah. <laughs> yeah, with a capital Q. Yeah. Yeah.